So to say I'm buzzing would be an understatement because this is the penultimate vlog. I know I said all these vlogs are going to be like top tier and they will be. This is probably just above there because this is the Arbiva Closal. If you're not into your fashion, I'll probably skip to this time because I'm going to get my hair cut, which I've already had done, but I'm doing this clip afterwards. And then I'm going to go smash key at this 5k challenge. If you haven't already donated, link is in the bio. It's for a great charity. Please do it. I hope you enjoy. So it's a bit annoying because we've set the tripod up and we've got everything in place and the sun keeps coming in and out. So if the light does change, I am sorry. I apologise. I'm going to make this as fast, as less nausea as I can. Never done a close all before, but everyone's saying do one. No, I wouldn't say everyone. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't say everyone's saying it, but there's a fair few people saying do it because you're into your fashion. So we're going to go over exactly what we've got. Now, some of these are mine. And some of these are my twin brothers because I can finally announce because it's going to go out on Wednesday. My brother's coming with me. Yeah, I didn't think it would happen. I didn't think I'd even go on a holiday with him again, but he's coming to do the season. So first up, we might as well talk about represent t-shirts. As you can see, we've got a fair few and that's kind of down to lockdown. They seem to be dropping new t-shirts every single Friday, which is good and it's bad. I'm going to say one thing about it and listen, I've got all the t-shirts, so I'm obviously a fan of them. I'm a fan of George, Mike, even Melissa. Shout out to the Eatons. But they're very inconsistent. And I actually spoke to George, <laughs> I know, about it. And he said, because of the, you've got the shrinkage or whatever on each batch, because they're pre-shrunk, because we had a massive issue with our other representatives, the older season, from shrinking. So with these, I thought they are better because they don't shrink when they go in the wash. We can give one cent me. I'm all right with that. And obviously because I've been in the game, I kind of know what I'm talking about a little bit. So I'm five foot 10. I'm quite mostly built, a lot to say. And I wear a large and they only got to XL. So I'm like, mm, it's not like a massive range. I like it quite oversized. Some people look a bit more fitted. They are quite cropped. But let's move on to my other t-shirts because I've just got a competitor. I'd say so. So let's talk about this. And I feel a little bit of a traitor for doing this, but I have wanted this t-shirt from Cole Buxton for a very long time. They sold out for ages and I was getting a little bit peed off with them because I'm like, come on guys, you can restock it. But they finally did on end. I think it's sold out now by the time you're watching this. So I must say, it seems like a lot thicker material. I think the represent one does feel a little bit more like unique. It, I think they've actually almost created that fabric. Whereas this does feel like I have felt it before when we was in the game, but I like it. 10 out of 10 for packaging. Like the packaging was unbelievable. I was really impressed by that. And little things like that do like get me there. Like some of the represents come in a box and then some don't. And I'm like, Sometimes I'm really impressed by it and then sometimes I'm not, whereas this has came. I'm a large nut as well. Now it is quite cropped. It's more cropped than the uh, represents, but what I do like is the colour. I'm all about it. I hate now wearing t-shirts that have a, like a wide collar. It's all about a tight one. I do recommend the Cole Buxton. It's quite thick, so for our beef, it's going to be a hot one, but it's white. So if we get the sweaters, we're all right. Anyway. Let's move on to shoes. Oh, but I do apologise. I went on to shoes way too early. We haven't even talked about the spicy shirts. Now, they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. And to be honest, I ain't going to wear them all the time. But when in Ibiza, I mean, look at that, Coca-Cola. When in Ibiza, I think there's going to be them nights. I'm, I'm going thinking it's going to be like uni. We're going to have like social nights and all that sort of stuff. So you're going to dress up, wear a spicy shirt, all these shirts are getting from ASOS. Now they're from a brand called Bershka. Don't know if you've heard of it, but I recommend it. It's like an oversized fit. I don't like it when it's really tight. I like, you know what I like, I like oversized stuff. I'm gonna put everything up so you can go and see. If you wanna drop me a DM, cause I am like that now. Drop me a DM, I'll let you know where it's from. So I've now switched over from buying loads of trainers and getting t-shirts. First up, we've got the represent. Terriers. I had them in a black pair, but I wanted to get like a summer shoe. It's probably not the best fry beef, but they're mad comfy. I rate these. They're going to get destroyed, but I rate them. We then got the Balenciaga Track 2s. Now, if you saw my last vlog, you will see what it did 
to my top. They look class and I didn't have them for last summer. So I'm kind of buzzing to be wearing these. My only issue is I need to be real strategic. That's hard for me to say. About when I'm gonna wear these because I can't walk in them for that long. They're like a pair of heels. You can't walk in them for too long. So they're probably gonna get sold after I be for. So hit me up if you want a pair of these for cheap because they're probably gonna be ruined. Yeah. We then got alphas. We got more alphas that we know what to do with. They're quite comfy. I wouldn't say they're really comfy. They're probably a solid seven out of 10, but we like them. We've got them in different colors. They look class with Uniqlo socks, by the way. I ain't gonna do a separate one. Uniqlo socks are the shit with these. They look unbelievable. Really impressed by them. We've got canvas, we've got suede, and we've got nylon. We've got nylon. And then we've got these new reacts. Now my brother did, my brother bought these. He bought these to run in. And to be honest, I can see you rocking these at Ocean. Go with the orange, all that sort of stuff. I quite like them, they're unbelievably comfy. They're as comfy as my Nolik Zooms, or my actual running shoes. But I think that's it for trainers. We haven't gone too mad. I mean, we are getting like an extra 10 kg bag because we're a bit worried it's not gonna uh, fit. We'll be too heavy. So moving on to the accessories. If you know me, you know I love a good chain. I think it just, it solidifies an outfit. I get all my chains from. Chain enable. As again, I've got a bit of, of an, I've got a bit of an affiliation with the brand. Why, you may ask. I've been buying from them for about seven, eight years. I also got this little pinky ring. I did get another one, like a sovereign. It was a little bit too much. Got the Onyx, ver Onyx, got the Onyx version of it. And it was a bit too much, so I swapped that for a new one. That's coming, I'll show you on my Insta stories. Oh yeah, check me out on Instagram, Mike Proudfoot. If you want a TikTok, Mike Proudfoot, again. So yeah, I got them all from Chain and Abel. You can get the more expensive versions, but I'm still a little bit worried because people just rip your neck. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with. On to the next thing. <laughs> again, it's represent. I really wanted like a body bag. You're not really wearing that, are you? Wearing what? The man purse. Because there's nothing worse than going to these raves, if there is going to be a rave, having to put your phone in your pocket, whatever. I probably wouldn't wear it to a pool party because it looks a little bit weird without a top off. But... No. One moment. So it goes like that, which I think is quite cool. You can move it around, you can have it on the front. Obviously, if you're at a rave, you don't want people, and there's pickpockets. I'm gonna to touch on a special video for that. But I quite like it, I think it's quite cool. Adds to an outfit, I rate it. Again, didn't come in the packaging I wanted, it came in like a little dust bag, which was all right, but for like a 200 and whatever pounds bag. It's called a satchel. I thought, expected more. Moving on to sunglasses. I've gone in on sunglasses this year because if I'm going to be there for like two and a half months, I want a decent amount of sunglasses. So of course, I only get them from official Balboa. My guys definitely stepped up. At the very start, they were just stuck, whereas now he's designing them himself and they feel like proper for quite cheap. Like these are, I don't know, 30, 40 quid. And obviously if you break these, how's it look? If you break these, you're not crying. Whereas if you have a pair of Ray-Bans, you're crying. So I highly recommend them. It comes in a nice little leather, little touch. I like that type of stuff. Final, the piece de resistance, if that's how you say it, is at the shave. I can't lie, my favorite compliments is, you smell nice. Now I know this is a little bit basic, bitch. I get it. Everyone seems to have Creed, Aventus, but I've tried every aftershave. I wouldn't say every aftershave, but I've tried Tom Ford, I've tried Dior, not the expensive one, I've tried Sauvage, I've tried Victor Rolf, and nothing really compares to this. Like the smells are decent. I like all the smells, but this just lasts like all day. And especially when I'm in the heat and it's gonna be sweating. I wanna have that smell. We've gone back to the roots. 100 mil, let's see if I can do it. Surely I can't use 100 mil in two and a half months. I'll give it a go. That was the fastest I've ever done one of these. I've done it in pretty much one take for each little segment. 
and I have listened to it back. I really do apologize for one, the hands, trying to get better at it, and two, the hat, I'm getting my haircut next, and three, the Birmingham accent. And when I speak a little bit higher, it really comes out, doesn't it? I'm sorry, if you don't like it, I am sorry. Subscribe anyway. <laughs> but there's the RB for close all. Now let's go and get my haircut. Let's go. So I've been waiting for this day for about three months. It's haircut day. I haven't had it cut since March. I know this ain't too exciting, but for me, and all the lads will be able to relate, getting your haircut is a big thing. It's a bit vanity, sided, whatever. We're gonna do that. Smash kid at the race. Sorry, mate. Link in the bio. Go. And that's that. And then, the old beef vlogs are beginning. I'm calling it my beefer. I think it's quite cool, quite edgy. But first, it's time to go. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning. Hey, hey, yeah, look, hey, stay on leash for the energy. I ain't worried, give a fuck about the enemy. Be the got them thinking it was ten of me. That's why tonight I'm on the weed, not the Hennessy. Lying, but I tell you how it really be. Drop the game, I can sprinkle for infinity. I'm the player of the year, if I do say, cause I treat a Saturday. I've never been so excited, lads. Oh my god. I hope you blessed my brother, cause he was fucking terrible. You look hot, man. Oh, yeah. How are we, Jordan? Good, mate, you. Sweet. How's it going, you? Yeah. <laughs> Missed you as well, Don. I ain't worried, give a fuck about the enemy. Be the Got them thinking it was ten of me. That's why tonight I'm on the weed, not the Hennessy. Lying, but I tell you how it really be. Drop the game, I can spring. Oh my God, he is absolutely blessed. Hey, my brother looks good. Very good, man. Spin round. Oh my Yay! God. I know everyone's gonna be like, oh God, it doesn't even look like you've been doing but I'm happy. I generally, I've just said, I generally feel a lot happier. Sad in it. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy. We're going to get it cut one more time before we go because you got to be fresh, fresh. But let's go smash Kin at this race. For infinity, I'm the player of the year, if I do say. Because I treat a Saturday like a Tuesday. Can't do with the sauce for the soul food. Eat good, smoke great. That's a whole move. Whole time, half time. How are we feeling then, son? Uh, a little bit hungover. That's such a shit excuse to say you're hungover, but. Oh, I'm, know, I'm, gonna I'm gonna lose anyway. I've had shin splints all week. Shin splints all week, you know. Let's do it. I'm not feeling my best, you know. I'm a little bit sore. Oh, you said you had a pulled muscle. I did have a pulled muscle, but. I Good going, son. Come here. Well Good effort, son. I'm fucked. Didn't get under 20, though. Got 21 out of two. I didn't even know it was 5k. I was looking at the bottom four and a half fucking can. <laughs> and there we have it. Smashed him. I'm just pissed off I didn't get under 21. Two seconds off, but we did well, but that's it. The next episode you're going to see is going to be the first episode of the IB for so. If you didn't like, if you don't even know what to say. Did the, if you did like the video, please like it. If you want to subscribe, please do so. What's it been, Quai? I'm time, mate.